I don't know why I stopped then. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another mock driving test. Like always, before we get started, any of you that are learning to drive and want to save time and money on your lessons, please check out this video for the ultimate driving course. After watching some of the videos on the course, I felt really comfortable with the extra knowledge. 38 easy to understand, precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based. They are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the maneuvers and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic, then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Okay, so today's learner driver is uh, Caitlin. And guys, for those of you who are watching for the first time, the learners that turn up here like Caitlin, I haven't, uh, I haven't met Caitlin before. They're just here for me to assess their driving and to find out whether if they're ready for the actual test or not. And any of you that want to take part in these uh, mock tests, I obviously don't charge for these mock tests as you guys allow me to upload them onto YouTube. Um, all you need to do is drop a message on um, Instagram at DJ Driving and we just select people randomly. Okay, Caitlin, so uh, could you tell me a bit about your driving? Um, well, I've been driving for about since last year. I had a break, then yeah. I restarted back in March. Okay. Um, so I've had about 25 altogether. Um, cool. I've got my test coming up in two weeks. Okay. So I just want to know if I'm ready. Do you feel ready? <laughs> it's just nerves going over the top of me at the moment. <laughs> cool. And obviously, I don't think there's going to be anything more nerve wracking than this year. It's yeah. the closest thing to your test. You're on camera. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. Um, obviously you're going to be driving a car that you've, obviously she hasn't driven this car before. No. And um, it's in a new area as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, so um, you've, you've watched the videos, haven't you, yeah? Yeah. Okay, if you do make a mistake, I won't say anything um, during the test. Yeah, we'll talk about it at the end. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, for those of, you, those of you who are watching, um, any faults, I will talk about them just before they happen and I'll explain um, what's going on, yeah? Okay. Right then, so um, we're going to start off by following the sat-nav. Yeah, we're going to carry out one manoeuvre, uh, as you would on the uh, test, mm -hmm. yeah. Show me, tell me questions, have you been through them? Um, I've been to the tell me questions, not the show me questions. Okay, we'll leave them out, but, but do, okay. do you go through those, yeah? Yes. Okay, right then, so uh, whenever you're ready, if you could uh, move off for me, please. <laughs> and if you could park up anywhere safe on the left. When parking up, Caitlin gets too close to the curb and touches it. Can move off when you're ready, please. When moving off, she carries out good observations, but still has a left signal on. This roundabout she does well. Caitlin shows good lane discipline and checks the mirror as well before exiting. <laughs> On this carriageway she builds up speed really well but doesn't go higher than third gear. Staying in lower gears uses up more fuel. After exiting this roundabout, she forgets to cancel the left signal. It does stay on for a while. From the signal, 
Caitlin does the roundabout very well. This is quite a tricky roundabout. She waits patiently for a safe gap to enter and sticks to her lane well. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. Now this vehicle pulls out in front of us. Caitlin reacts really well. Take the exit, then cross the roundabout. We are turning left at the end of the road and there is another turning beforehand. Caitlin shows good awareness by waiting to pass that turning before applying the left signal. Turn left. Here, Caitlin should have selected first gear, but is in second. She brings the clutch up really well, so doesn't stall. So this isn't really an issue. This time Caitlin parks up in a good position close to the curb, but again when moving off she forgets to cancel the left signal. Thank you, and move off whenever you're ready. Now this is a spiral mark roundabout which is controlled by traffic lights, so it's quite challenging. Caitlin starts off really well and positions correctly. Now she should keep to the left of this white line that has just appeared. She begins to drive over it, but then realises and sorts her position out. Roundabout. We're coming towards the end of the test and so far Caitlin hasn't made a serious fault but now she does and in my opinion it's a pretty silly one. And if you could turn left please into, the, into Morrison's. At this left turn she doesn't signal until the last moment which is too late as we are on a carriageway and there were vehicles behind. So basically we slow down without warning traffic behind. Now I'm going to ask Caitlin to do the forward bay parking manoeuvre. And if you could park forward into any bay you want please. Okay. On your driving test, normally the examiner will give you an option to park in any bay, just as I've done here. From this position, it's best to aim for a bay to the right, as there is more space. But Caitlin opts for a bay on the left, so it will be a bit more difficult. I don't know where I'll stop then.
The first thought on this manoeuvre is for observations. We can see the pedestrian walking towards the car, so Caitlin should wait for him to pass, but doesn't. She doesn't position inside the bay, so decides to readjust. But even after readjusting, our back left tyre is still on the bay line. That. Okay, secure yeah. the car then, please. Okay, um, yeah, just reverse out then, please. She reverses out with good observations. Now we're going to end the test here and when I ask Caitlin to switch off the car she struggles as she's turning the key the wrong way. And cancel signal. Oh, sorry. Switch off the engine. We're going to end the test here now. Is that off? <laughs> uh, towards you. Oh, towards me, yeah. Okay. okay. Right then, Caitlin, that's the end of the test. How do you think you did? Um, failed. I, I could have done better. What do you think you failed on? Um, it was the forward by park. <laughs> yeah, what was wrong with it, you reckon? I don't know if I went more... I think I was more over to this side that I wasn't in the middle. I think I was over the, the line at the front. Yeah, you did get quite close to the line at the front, yeah. Uh, but we were too much to the, um, the left you know uh, the car wasn't fully straight yeah mm -hmm. you know when you first did it you were too much to this side then you readjusted yeah and then the back our uh, back left tire was still slightly over the line okay yeah mm -hmm. okay and then when you were readjusting your observation is like that one that one point you let the car just roll back oh, no. yeah you're letting it roll back i think on purpose as well yeah and then but before reversing where should you look um, back. Yeah, check all around. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 that, uh, before doing that, you didn't check all around properly, yeah. Yeah. And even when you started the manoeuvre, you know when that um, pedestrian was w walking towards that car? Yeah. You should have, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, you, you know when you did all your checks, you're supposed to look around for pedestrians and other mm -hmm. cars, yeah. And if there is a pedestrian walking towards that car, and it could, because it was quite close by, by stop. Just stop and wait, yeah. yeah. Just stop and wait, because he, w he would have walked past uh, uh, um, the front of our car yeah. there, yeah. Okay, so just on um, obviously the observations there and the accuracy part getting yeah. get, getting inside the bay. Okay, it is difficult to do the manoeuvres in a different car, but mm -hmm. you, you know you can readjust and sort it, which yeah. you, you were doing. Okay, <laughs> kind of gave up in the end. Yeah, but everything <laughs> but like you were doing really really well. There was only one other fault, and that was right at the end. You failed in the last couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, obviously we we did mess up the manoeuvre. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, just before that, you know, when I asked you to turn 
uh, into uh, turn left. Yeah, we were on the deal carriage. We asked you to turn left. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what you did wrong there? That was the only other serious fault. Um, I didn't signal. Yeah, you, your signal was way too late. Yeah. So we're on a dual carriageway. The speed limit is 40 miles an hour. I, I said to you, I want you to turn left into Morrison's, yeah. Um, oh, did yeah, your mirrors. Yeah, yeah, you started Chat. You started to slow bite. down. Mm -hmm. You slowed down. You got your gear. You got the right speed for the turn, which you were about 15 miles an hour. And then you signaled. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, if it was a quiet, a quiet road, nobody behind us, yeah, and you did that. I would let that off as a minor fault. Yeah. Yeah. Th there was people at the back of us. Wasn't yeah, exactly. There. And were, were they expecting us to slow down at all? No. <laughs> no. Because I didn't signal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, again, um, it's not something that you need major work on, is it? Applying a signal. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No. Exactly. It's more maneuvers. Yeah. Th there, was, there was a lot of um, good stuff for you driving. Like I said, that was the only serious fault. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't do. I was gonna be bad at more manoeuvres. Okay. Yeah. That that signal and the uh, and the manoeuvre. I manoeuvre wasn't like that bad. Yeah. It was just more ob observations. Yeah. Observations see. and um, okay. just just um, getting it into um, yeah, getting it in between the lines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, if like uh, that was a Ford Bay park. Yeah. I gave you an option of parking it into any bay you wanted. You yeah. know what would have been easier. Parking uh, on the left, on the right. Yeah, parking on the right because yeah. you had a lot more space to manoeuvre. Yeah. But you opted for the left one. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so why. Yeah, swim the car over there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but if you do want to go into the left bay, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the best thing to do is do your observations. If it's clear to that side, it's okay to move over onto the other side. Yeah, to give yourself more space to get in first time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because you were already close to the bay, and it's very difficult to like manoeuvre into the bay from that position. Yeah. 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 So it would have been best if you'd. Done, yeah. Yeah. Would have gone to the right. <laughs> yeah, you would have. Yeah, you would have given yourself more, uh, more chance of getting it, um, getting it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that and the signal, those were the only two faults that you did. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, the roundabouts you were doing, um, quite good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, um, I think the one thing to remember, like. Your gears to change your gears a little bit earlier. Sometimes your gear changes yeah. a little bit late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Signals you were keeping on a couple of times. Mm -hmm. You know, especially when we're turning left. Yeah. After a roundabout, you were a couple of times your signal stayed on. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember, yeah, well, remember I to cancel it. Time to stand and come up. Yeah. Your carriage way. Okay, yeah. because that can, that can be misleading. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, you'll do. Um, well, on your actual test. Thank you. Okay, yeah, let, let, let us know how you do, yeah? Yeah, I will. Okay, any questions? Uh, no, thank you. Thank you very much for coming down to do the mock test. It's okay. And guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.